Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Siri on your iPad or iPad 2 via Spire. So let's get started. First, you need to go into Cydia and you need to download Spire. Now, for if you're on the iPad 2 or the iPad 1, then you're going to need to download Spire for iPad which I have right here. It's called Spire for iPad and iPad 2. It is on the Insanely I repository, which I will post a link to that in the description. And you are going to download this, and it takes about 100 megabytes of data, so you are going to want to have it connected to Wi-Fi and give it some time. So once that, once that is loaded, you are also going to need iFile iFile, you can get that on multiple cracked apps, repositories, I use, um, XLIs. So once you have those two, you uh, and everything is rebooted, you go into settings and you see over here in Spire. First, we're going to use the proxy host of guzoni.apple.com. This link will be in the description. So you're going to put that in there in the Spire. And then you're going to go up, and we are going to have to add a profile, also called Guzoni. And by doing that, to do that, you are going to need to put in a, um, a, a certificate, and I will put that down in the description. Basically, on your iDevice, you're going to go to that, and you are going to... Uh, it, that you'll go to this link and then it will install it on your device. So once you have that, that um, this thing will show up, this profile. So once that's there, next you are going to do the iFile thing where you're going to go to another link I have posted and it's going to have this, this is Safari and this is a website and it has this, so you're going to post this into your hosts file. So you're going to copy all of this. Sometimes it's difficult to copy, basically, there. Copy it. Now you're going to go into iFile. And the host file lies in the, once you go all the way back, click press this button over here that will go back. You'll go all the way back to the dash. And you'll press ETC. And you'll go down to the hosts, right there. And then you'll press text viewer. Now mine is already changed, but yours won't be. So you are going to press edit up at the top, edit, and then you are going to hold it down, press select all, and you're going to paste. And then it's going to paste all of that into there. And then you're going to press save over here, and then done. And then after that, you're going to need to reboot it. And then once that's done, basically that's all you need to do, and Siri will now be fully installed on your device. Now, most people are going to say that this doesn't work. When I first did this, it didn't work. Um, and this, basically the servers, all of the free servers, are extremely bogged down with requests. So they're doing the best they can, but they can't accept all of your requests at the same time. So if you get lucky, maybe we'll get lucky right now, it will accept it. Hello? Hi, sir. Alright, so it's working right now. Who are you? I am Siri. Yeah. What time is it? It's 3.57 p.m. Yep, so Siri should now be working after you have installed, after you have installed it. Uh, put your information into the Spire area, put that proxy host in. Go up once you have this profile installed, that's general, and then down to profiles. Once you have this one installed, don't worry about that one. You have that one installed, and then you have changed your host file and reset the iPad, as in reboot it, then everything should be set up.
and just give it some time because just like I showed you today is the Gen is January 31st and so it's obviously still working a lot of the older YouTube videos um, don't work anymore but this one does work so give it some time and hopefully it will work to you for you and please subscribe uh, thumbs up comment favorite do whatever you want to do and I will help you out if I can. Thanks.